Hey guys, welcome back to net.touchplus.com and today's video quick tip comes courtesy of a reader question on Twitter and it concerns sticky posts. So you'll see here we have this featured ribbon on NetTouch. How can we achieve that? It's really easy. So as of WordPress 2.7, they allowed support for sticky posts. So if you come into your dashboard and when you create a post, you have the option of specifying that it should be sticky. And what that does is it makes sure that even weeks later when you have new postings, you can still make sure that post displays at the top. But that still doesn't solve how do we specify that post specifically to apply that ribbon with CSS and that's pretty easy as well. So let's go into a posting here. Let's go into an older posting and this one will be on that discover CSS3 techniques and we're going to go to visibility and choose sticky this post. Okay that itself will make sure that it shows up at the top of your blog. So if I come back to my personal blog and I refresh it you'll see that this posting is now at the top. But how can we specify and let the reader know, hey, this isn't the newest post, this is actually a sticky post? And the way is you need to make sure that you apply the proper class. So here is the theme here. You don't need to worry about any bit of the code at all. This is a live theme, but notice here that each blog posting is wrapped in an article. So we wanna echo out all of the classes associated with every posting. So I can do PHP post class. And what that's going to do is it's going to echo out class equals and then a huge a list of classes that are associated with it. So I'll refresh the page right now. And now if we go and inspect the element, what you'll see here is that every posting now receives like a handful of classes. So let's go up to article and check that out. Class equals post. So you get the number, a, a single post that you can use, type post, and sticky. And notice that that one would be applied. But if we come down here, the rest of these will not receive that sticky class, as you can see right here. All right, so then at that point, it's just a matter of going into your style sheet. So again, this is a live site. Don't worry about any of that scary compressed code, but we can just do sticky. And then this would be where you would apply maybe a ribbon background and position it. For the sake of this tutorial, let's just set background green to make sure it works. Close this out. And if I refresh the page, we can now successfully target all sticky posts. And again, this is where you would apply your ribbon as a background image. All right, that's going to do it. A real quick tip for a change. If you have any requests, just tweet us on Twitter at Envato Web Dev or on Facebook at NetTouch Plus. All right, guys, I'll see you later. Bye.